Hello team, welcome all of you for this uh, session from uh, ProThoughts for the uh, PMP things. And uh, we have the uh, topic for today that is navigating for the PMP application process, which is a very much important and a, a critical one to go ahead with the examination and connecting to the uh, PMP uh, the management server and things. So first of all, it will be uh, starting with the uh, Myself, uh, Manoj Bhumkar, I am uh, PMP certified, uh, currently working in Bharat Forge Limited Aerospace Department as Senior Project Manager. And I have completed my Bachelor of Engineering in Mechanicals in 2003. And after that, it will be uh, 19 years of experience in auto, non-auto and aerospace industry as a project manager. Then I have to mention here that I am a member of International Fellowship of Rotary Musicians and, uh, and a good singer uh, in Pune. So, uh, so this is a habit from my side, uh, which will be taking a lighter mode of my life. So Excuse me, sir, uh, please walk up for three. The slide show you. Sorry? Slide show view, please. Okay. okay. Not on slide show. Yet. Perfect. So moving, yeah, moving ahead, uh, we will be having covering the agenda for this uh, session. Introduction for the uh, ProThoughts, uh, our organization to support uh, during the journey of project management. Then uh, the main topic of discussions uh, on navigating the PMP application process. This will be uh, with experience, eligibility criteria, what are the documentations required and the uh, uh, after uh, submission things. And finally, it will be a complete interactive session, uh, which is uh, a question and answers. This will be uh, elaborating in the chat box. So we'll start with this. Uh, first thing to be uh, this session, uh, thankful to uh, ProThoughts to organize this, which is having a tagline, succeed with your projects. So this will be mainly supporting with five hands uh, to the corporate world, providing corporate trainings, which will have 25 plus products based on the project management, program management, business agility, agile transformations, and the things required for the projects. Then there will be a next, uh, it will be pro mock, which is required as an exam simulator for the uh, all above things, which will be PMP, then PGMP, uh, CAPM exam, PMI, SCP exam, and other PMI based simulators. This will be uh, exactly uh, exam based questions where we have to solve them and get the answers. And whenever there is a, a wrong thing or how it will be uh, near to correct. So this Promox software will support on that. Next is, uh, this is a certified training workshop. They will provide under the guidelines of Project Management Institute of USA. So this will be again, same things, PMP certification, then uh, P P PGMP, DSM, PMI, ACP, and which will be including the MS project 2016. This is the highest certification for the uh, planning software, and they will provide that through the trainings. Then they have another things called e-learnings, and it will be uh, all together, uh, both the sessions will be conducted online as well as on offline, and the required uh, materials, it will be provided directly on the ProThought sites. Whenever you get a login and password to after the uh, joining uh, these things through ProThoughts. 
and the final thing will be an important one is talk talk is the uh, thing where project management books are available uh, from the reowned uh, uh, writers like uh, rita mulkai michael thirty mike griffith and the preparation flash cards are also available and uh, mainly it will be giving you the cloud subscription to have uh, a various databases with respect to the uh, pmp certification and it will be uh, added advantage with the audio books also so i can say here uh, whenever we think as a project management it will be think pro thoughts moving ahead uh, this is the authorized premium training partner for all the related project management things with respect to the usa based organization that is project management institute and uh, uh, it will be hand in hand with them uh, with uh, up to the examination and support required from from uh, for all the uh, re uh, re uh, documentation and paperwork so we will move ahead with our uh, main topic here uh, now why it is required project managers pmps so as we have gone through the first thing which is called preparation so there will be a demand from the various business heads who sponsors project that will be the project manager should demonstrate ability to lead projects in any industry with the globally recognized certification called pmp so what is the pmp certification main question from our side and the uh, Uh, people who have attended this the pmp uh, organization acknowledges candidates with the skills that is people process and business priorities of professional projects so pmi the organization which conducts these things a leading authority on project management created the pmp to recognize project managers who have proven project leadership experience and expertise in any way of working now to obtain the pmp certification must meet the requirements and then pass a 180 question exam through the exam application form so i will go through the next things how it will be conducted from the start to the submission and the uh, uh, form clearance so see here uh, the highlighter main is what we have the three phases during the pmp application and uh, completion process that will be one is prepare prepare is study for the pmp certification increase your chances of passing we have a wide range of resources to help you test preparation uh, if you are in pro thoughts uh, that will be a much much uh, advantageous things here then after this preparation we have to apply find out if we qualify to take the certification exam if you are eligible you can schedule your exam on a timeline that works for you but it starts with the application and then third thing is take the exam so why we are here is to get this during this session we will take a deep dive into every facet of the pmp application journey which includes defining project management experience what it will be counted in the form then it is a eligibility requirements then documentation and verification if applicable to a individual person and common pitfalls to avoid while filling up the entire form so moving ahead this will be uh, your certification journey starts with your preparation and application as i told in the earlier slide now i will say complete your application in just three steps which will be uh, one by one we are getting in uh, next two to three slides so one is confirm your eligible for first step is confirming that you have the education training and on job experience to qualify for the pmp exam so before you apply make sure you meet one of the following sets which will be as there so basically it will be four year college university degree 
that i uh, from my side it is a bachelor so and after that it will be 36 months of experience leading projects this is the main thing here 36 months of experience leading project within the past 8 years so somebody has a longer experience and after that they will think to move with the pmp certification then they should have a minimum of 36 months of experience that has to be shown in the uh, uh, application form and after that they have to complete 35 hours of project management education or training i will suggest here uh, it will be much much helpful with the uh, support of pro thoughts and the experience guidelines from them and the second thing if you have a high school or secondary school diploma degree then it the 36 months will go to 60 months that is a 5 year of period and the similar 35 hours are there so this is the basic eligibility criteria so within the past 8 years it has shown that is fine but it should not be limited to that but what is the main agenda is 36 months after the bachelor engineering degree and diploma or secondary school degree it will be 60 months and you have to organize this pdus of 35 hours which will be taken care from the training institute which you are getting it moving ahead with this the second is gather your information so what is this to gather so that will call a documentation work which will be coming up with the experience related to the past projects and training which you have taken in the Three years or past five years experience. So what you have to um, uh, take a note here: projects you have lead. This is the main thing. Where you have worked, your role and responsibilities, and duration of projects. You have to strictly consider with these three things. And the next is training you have completed during that phase. That is institutions attended, courses completed, and qualifying hours. now with this two things and the documentation work there task the third fill the application form after pmi login so you have to log in to the pmi and you will get this thing how to log in how to get the uh, ids and pmi things during your 35 hours training session through prothods or uh, your online things and get it verified by experts from our team so what we have to do here once you register your pmi account you can log in and complete the form so ensure that you fill in the right information you don't have to worry about completing it at all same time aisa nahi hai wahan pe ki it goes to uh, you have to start it right now and complete it in 1 hour or 2 hours or 3 hours you can save your responses you can come back but there is a restriction you have to complete it within 90 days of the starting so what uh, what is the th things here that you have to ensure you have to, you are filling the right information and the required things using the 35 hours trainings you have taken the words the right terminologies and uh, as per your company norms also something you have not to declare like cost like budgeting things and all that so you have to ensure it to fill the right information next thing to go is what happens next so that information you have filled i will i'll suggest again uh, with the experience after this uh, one or two slides how to uh, move ahead with the uh, um, uh, with my experience so what happens next after uh, you have filled the application and taken uh, it uh, the reviews from the uh, prothods institution experts and all that and then submitted to the pmi so pmi will go through your application and inform you if you get selected there is ifs and buts always but don't worry about this it will be if you have all the correct data correct things with you then it will not be a worry for this and most of the times it will be through as they will understand uh, the company from where the which organization you are coming from and what projects you are putting there without any sensible information uh, 
with respect to the budget cost and uh, uh, geographical things that will be coming up so pmi takes minimum 5 business days to approve your application but if i said that there are ifs and buts they can also randomly select you for an eligibility audit this is completely depending on your verbiage what is required what is written in the form if they found any things which will be uh, doubtful then they will get it on the eligibility audit so you must provide all the necessary documents for verification like a copy of your degree certification certificate of experience and certificate of trainings which we got uh, during the uh, your uh, company phase so my recommendations for you here is basically before putting all this on the things talk to your project sponsors whoever is leading your department leading your uh, 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 sector talk to your project sponsors or managers before you apply and let them know you are submitting an application for pmp certification so the uh, thing here i want to again uh, highlight you have to review it through the institutes like prothods or online sessions to prothods again and secondary through these project sponsors in your organization in your work uh, culture tell them that if your application is selected for audit they will be asked to verify your experience including the hours you worked because you have to mention that as a project uh, always it will be a defined which has a start and end date so the specific words are coming here hours you worked so it will be not be hours for 3 hour, uh, 3 years project it will be a duration in months or a duration of a year that can be coming up but experience including the hours you worked so they have to sign on your experience certificate that yes this guy has completed these projects including uh, the uh, his leading the projects it's not a participation so it will be coming up in the next ones so here i am telling that after one or two slides i got this thing so what are the tips required for the application so make sure there is someone at the address you provide who can receive any correspondence from pmi and your pmp certificate double check your experience section to be sure you can show experience across all the process groups talk to the managers i have completed that point earlier but again it's a tip and it's a uh, critical thing talk to the managers or sponsors before you apply so you know that they are going to be available if required file all your evidences for your project management education in one place so that you will get it in a quick the time of uh, turn around and it will be a respond given to the pmi if you need to access it for an audit you will easily able to get that certificates then here as a 90 days given there give yourself enough time to get this all things collected and there it will be required and then it will be filling up the final form we are only human again i am saying here so genuine mistakes are all uh, always there from this side so pm i understand that these things happen so the honest and ethical approach is to contact them via email chat or there is a phone number given or you have one uh, audity which will be uh, auditing your uh, things but it will be a next thing when it will be come up with the audit section ask them how to resolve the issue and then follow their instructions so this has to be always with the honest and ethical ethical approach uh, to come up with them as a uh, and always things to be writing there keep in writing all these things so after phone call also you will uh, send a mail or they will also put it in the uh, in the mailbox that as per our discussion these these things are waiting from your side or you will say you want this this things and i am writing uh, for the or i am attaching the uh, correct certificates correct uh, documentation required documentation completed with the projects and all this so start from your current and most recent project this is the basic thing here so you you have to track back start from your current and most recent project and work backwards through your career history until you have reached the total months required 
which is 36 months for a degree and for a diploma users and it will be a 60 months. So there is no need to list every project you have ever led. See, here is the main thing. Led means, again, I am telling it will not be a, a participation. You have to lead the project. So it will be, you are a project manager for that. So you have to initiate, you have to document, you have to make plans, you have to risk registers, you have to report to the management till the end. So that is the leading of a project. So participation workings, it will not be uh, a satisfactory criteria during the uh, application process. So now the uh, next thing it will be coming up uh, as a as if we can say uh, pitfalls to avoid. So what to avoid during the uh, writing of the uh, things. So basically don't apply before taking required training contact hours. So this is the must thing that is called PDUs. So you have to take 35 PDUs because you have to put that code, you have to put that number there which will be given to you as a certification and uh, the things uh, uh, you have to write that I have completed these many PDU hours from this, this training institute and it will be uh, uh, mentioning with the correct things. Second thing is avoid putting operational tasks. See, operational tasks don't have the uh, start and end dates. So it will be continuous uh, start of production will be there or anything it will be required like uh, making a, uh, uh, required uh, goods things, it will be an operational task as they are not classed as projects. The so projects will be, again I am saying, projects will have a start and end date with proper budgeting things and resources to be applied for that. So don't show the project where you are a team member or a participant. So what I have given you earlier, this is don't show the project where you are team member. So you have to lead it from the front, starting from the initiation where the sponsors will uh, deploy you as a project manager and will uh, talk you about the things to uh, uh, go with the, uh, go for the team members to select then uh, resources for the correct uh, positions, correct work tasks. Then we have the WBS to define and use of any one of the softwares which will be for monitoring the uh, task as well as monitoring the uh, trajectory work of the project. Then and the third thing comes, uh, fourth thing comes here, avoid to disclose sensitive details in commercially confidential projects. So, which will be, not be uh, signed off by your sponsor to provide during the um, uh, application phase. So, avoid that to disclose. Then, avoid unclear methodology and terms other than PIMBOK in your description of the projects. So, you have to use whatever terminologies, whatever learnings you have taken in the uh, 35 hours classes, or before the application of PMI and all this, you have to complete the classes, which will give you the each and uh, uh, specific workings re related to this PIMBO. And they will come up with the things. So what I am going to say here, read your email carefully. If it will be in the uh, application is rejected mode or, or it will be a, a checking mode, why your application was rejected. If you believe that you have been rejected incorrectly, that is also true sometimes. They doesn't understand what will be the exact terminology used by uh, your uh, uh, company things and all. It will be there. So you contact PMI and need to reapply, making sure you change the elements. So see here, this is the thing. Don't show the project where you are, team member and participants. And the fourth thing, avoid to disclose sensitive details. So that will come up here in this. If you believe that, uh, sorry, uh, you change the elements that caused you to fail in the first place. So reapplication is also available. 
but that is not uh, more than two times. After third, it, we have to wait for some uh, uh, some time, and then it will become out, come up with the fresh applications. So during these things, uh, I am taken uh, the uh, longer duration for uh, discussions uh, point of view, and uh, I will give you an example uh, with respect to the uh, verbal only. So I think uh, with these things, what I will conclude here, uh, uh, you will be or. Uh, I will suggest that uh, it will be a good information for a successfully complete your online PMP application form and hopefully receive your eligibility link to book your exams after these tricks uh, and bit falls to avoid if you take on these things. So your PMP journey uh, success begins with the logging on and starting your application. So it will be good luck to all of you guys. So I will move uh, with uh, before this question and answer session. Uh, I will move uh, give you one example what we have to write. So uh, they will be giving uh, you the clear picture. Uh, I can say, say directly that they will be first thing they will ask your names and the, uh, what you are doing right now, where you have done the things and all. And then it will be a main uh, point to come up with the experience for the 36 uh, months you have to put there or 60 months you have to put. So you have to start uh, writing on a uh, project name number one. And then the uh, again, I have to say start and end date. Uh, that has to be end or you can say as uh, the third project or uh, last project going on is you can say still it is going on. That is also a good criteria to put on uh, in the application side. So what you have to say, uh, this is my project name. This is uh, the budget for the project is allocated. This is the team size uh, which will be working on the project. Uh, and the third thing is a time plan with respect to the start and end date. And then you have to uh, say the word uh, uh, or verbiage in that is to start with, I have initiated the project after getting the project documentation or a sponsor's uh, feedback or a sponsor's comment to run the project uh, with respect to the um, uh, terminologies, initiation, uh, then uh, uh, risk register then planning then communication then uh, it will be a, a reporting and a document five uh, s or we can say a documentation work there so it has to be step by step and you have to close you have to say at the final i have closed the project or handed over for start of production to the production team with respect to this this this, this documentation like a ppap you will complete or you can have a fair first article in inspection report. That will be the things. It, uh, I will not be using of a chart here to write down all this because uh, everybody may have a uh, different uh, uh, VH while writing and putting all this. But uh, from uh, as a my side and uh, the, uh, very thankful to the Prothot support that they have given me this uh, three, four criteria to start with the uh, word wordings like I have initiated after the sponsor has given me the opportunity and then it will be coming up with the planning and uh, execution step and it will be finally closed with the documentation thing. So hope uh, this will be uh, giving you all the uh, correct things. So uh, we will have now on the question and answer session in during in the chat box and uh, also uh, Uh, parallelly, uh, I will uh, give the uh, polls for uh, uh, during this uh, things. So I will launch this and please uh, uh, have us this uh, poll completion, which will be giving me the uh, further confidence. Uh, with respect to the your thoughts and processes. So I am launching it. 
so please uh, fill this up uh, requesting all the participants to do this and uh, uh, simultaneously we will have uh, the session here with respect to uh, your question and answers so uh, the questions uh, will be uh, very much uh, welcome uh i can go with the um, discussions also if it is required anybody has a questions please uh, uh, raise on to here so that uh, i can uh, uh, get them on the uh, talk mode also i am happy to uh, uh, communicate uh, with the discussion mode will be a complete cycle of 90 days so you can uh, discuss with them as per the uh, slide i have given there you have to give them the evidences and uh, uh, get this uh, things why it is rejected and then uh, you can provide with the reapplications but total cycle uh, continued it will be of 90 days hope i am audible to you so if it is uh, uh, giving you uh, right answer to your things please uh, uh, show me uh, yes or any further things on this thank you So I think uh, uh, everybody has uh, uh, completed the poll. So three questions are there. Uh, all six members have taken hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. So I will close this poll. Okay. So any more questions please guys So what I have to tell here is this uh, So for the more information uh, I will I am sending you this uh, mail uh, ID and the uh, contact details for the pro thoughts so it will be info at the rate prothoughts dot co dot in and the calling number where we are uh, uh, myself as well as my team uh, and the expert panel is happy to help you regarding the questions and answers uh, and the, uh, uh, the the trainings required uh, with respect to your uh, uh, exact uh, 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 working ability. and to improve your uh, project ability in uh, things and finally it will be uh, thank you and all the best for your uh, journey towards a project manager and pmp certified so it will be proud to have a pmp certification for a project manager because the sponsors are requiring a correct person at the correct project and which project is always a a proud moment or a proud thing for a company or a organization or a manufacturing unit to get it first time right so that budgets will not be a question for the year on year basis so i think i got one more question here yes yes uh, sanjay i will give you that 
so just to get it uh, any more queries it will be if it is uh, uh, someone wants to talk i will allow them uh, for this also so they can just ping me that uh, you want to have some one to one or a complete discussion for this anyone please calling numbers and the mail id thank you guys hope you all uh, got this code and uh, i am expressing my uh, gratitude towards your uh, journey uh, to pmp certified uh, project manager thank you to all and good luck